later in this episode of Sailing Vessel MIG. I've had two big walls of water come crashing into my little glass here. We get an offshore visitor right in the middle of one of my song segments. And finally, at the end of the video, we pull up this dang sea anchor so we can make our way towards Hawaii. Hey everybody, just a little update from back here in Norm's Presidential Library and massage parlor. <laughs> I got that from Rush Limbaugh talking about Bill Clinton, that shit's funny right there. <laughs> Library and massage parlor, that's funny. Anyway, little update here, uh, it's uh, Wednesday evening just before dark and uh, we uh, got the sea anchor out and uh, <laughs> God almighty, them waves are big man oh my god i've had a i don't know let me uh i'm gonna just let you see my little that little you can see out here i've had two big walls of water come crashing into my little glass here i can look out over there and see the, the waves coming but we don't have too many breaking over because we've got uh i got the sea anchor out and then we got the tiller over hard to starboard and the sea anchors is about 45 degrees off, uh, maybe about 40, 40 or so degrees off to the starboard as well. So we're making a slick so in the water. And I've always heard talk of the slick on the water and everything, but I've never seen it. But uh, now and it's working pretty darn good. Because a lot of them waves, you know, they would be crashing on the, all over the side of the boat. And we'd just be soaked all the time in here. But uh, in the cockpit and stuff. But that way, that slick is knocking them waves down. I never knew it worked, but it does. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, looks like I'm gonna be in here till uh, late Wednesday or Thursday morning. Cause I don't dare poke my head up out of that hole. Cause I get one of them big waves right in my face and I sure as shit don't want that. <clears throat> anyway, I got some snacks here for the next two days and a few bottles are empty, but they won't be in by Thursday, I guarantee it. Anyway, I just been reading some uh, Louis L'Amour second second books from Louis L'Amour. Keeping me busy. I got a few more of those to read. And, uh, and I just sit here and listen to the wind howl. And the way the wind's blowing now, it's blowing towards us. So my little flap that usually hangs down in front of the door there, or my hatchway deal, it's blowing back so I can see out now everything. So Maybe I don't want to. I don't want to see that big giant wall of water coming. But anyway, so uh, Topher's doing a lot of video up there, so you'll be, be able to see a, a lot of the storm and stuff. I can't really video from here. I can see little bits out in the window, but not very much. Not good enough for, like, he's got the GoPro out there and everything. So, anyway, that's all we got for now. Well, either if something bad happens, I'll check in later, or if not, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Adios! In this video, we are riding out a... Gale, not a heavy gale, but uh, you know, 20 is blowing 28 to 30, sometimes gusting into the mid 30s. Uh, the waves were probably 12 feet. It's awful hard to see when you look out here, but uh, this is the beginning of it. Uh, the first night that we were hit by this gale on Sea Anchor. Um, it's kind of a unique thing, a unique experience for me to ride out a gale on a sea anchor. And right here what I'm doing is I'm getting clipped in to go out there and check things. I do little deck checks and whatnot uh, all the time when we're in a storm. And so Norman, he, uh, he was a little concerned that he heard me pulling out the boards and stuff and he was a little worried about me. I will. I'm just going to look. Make sure everything's all right. So now uh, I'm going to clip on. I have a I have a tether that has two different tethers attached to one, pretty rough out here. which is kind of nice. One's a little shorter and one's a little longer, so it allows you to have a little more things with where you clip. I usually don't use the tether in normal sailing, but I always use it. When we're in bad weather. You can't really tell 
what's going on here. I, I wish it would come across the way it really is and the way it really feels. It's uh, This was really rough. Um, the waves were pretty good size and it's amazing how the boat Let's just rides up over the top to that sea, sea anchor. anchor. It just kind of rides like a cork head to wind. It's not very comfortable down below, but it really does quite a good job. It's, it's quite amazing, actually. So I just do a little check, make sure there's no chafe happening anywhere, and uh, that everything's still secure. Uh, it allows me to go back to sleep, sleep a little more soundly. We do do watches as well during the entire time. Somebody's always on watch and this was my watch time right now. This little boat, it's uh, always always important to be looking for a handhold and watching where you put your feet. I can't hear you. <laughs> it looks good up there. You need anything? That's good. generally always keep the boards in um, when we're sailing and definitely during any kind of a blow. The, the cockpit is just so wet on this boat. Maybe when we get our cockpit combings fixed in Hawaii, we won't have to keep these boards in all the time, but definitely in a storm we always keep the boards in. Uh, and we have successfully avoided having any water really come down below. We've had one wave splash over a little bit and come below, but um, we're very diligent about keeping the boards in. Big stuff happening here today. While under the sea anchor, you could feel the shock absorption of the extra road that we had put out. It really did help a lot. You can watch right here and you can see how the bow comes up and then pulls down very quickly. Had we not added that, I think it would have been a much rougher ride, but it was definitely not a comfortable ride. It's not something that you would, you know, go out and look forward to, for sure. I think that uh, if I had my choice, I would rather heave two. Plus, it would be easier to get going after the fact. Pulling up that sea anchor was really, really difficult, which you'll see in the next video. We share the whole process of pulling up the sea anchor. We were happy to have avoided the larger portion of the gale by doing this, but 
if we had to choose again, I'm not sure that we wouldn't have just kept sailing and then rowed out the gale in the drogue. It's running deep I can't see but I know it This something's not what it's meant to be Hearing brother against brother now Anger grows on divided ground Sometimes I think that I lost the sound Of the calm inside of me I wanna see love make a comeback I wanna feel hope Till kindness wins again I need to know peace is not defeated I need to know hate won't bring us freedom It doesn't matter where you've been We'll see kindness win again Tell me if I was falling If I was down, would you even see? I'm so tired of calling Out for someone to notice me I've been down on my knees for so long Crying, please, where were you when I was hurting? Now that I pull back the curtain oh, I wanna see love, make a comeback I wanna feel love afternoon folks it is Tuesday afternoon uh, for a little afternoon update uh, you ain't where they shit out there man they said 15 foot waves the good lord might have slipped in a 20 footer every once in a while it is not pleasant out there it is bad winds sturdy I guess and it's just it ain't fun out there man I, I can't poke my head up out there to show you a picture but Topher will have me I'm sure he's videoed it some today but uh it's uh it ain't good we're safe dry and all that kind of fun stuff but it's just not comfortable it's like the, the mechanical bull on urban cowboy it's 24 7 and it don't stop it's back and forth up down around around Woo! but nine seconds my ass 24 7 anyway no, eight seconds, nine seconds, nine seconds. I don't remember. Oh, it was a long time ago. But yeah, I just been hanging out here in my cabin, just hanging out, reading books, listening to books. It's uh, 
mostly cloudy out there today. It's not real pretty. Man, I, my little flap in front of my little window here opens up every once in a while. I can see pretty good. It ain't fun out there, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. I said, don't do it. Aaron, do not let your wife watch these. <laughs> You'll never go anywhere. <laughs> nah, it ain't worth shit. But hopefully, we got tomorrow and then it's supposed to start slowing down. So we got another 24 hours of this. And hopefully, it starts slow. Winds slowing down. God, oh, mighty. Then the winds, and then the seas will start backing down. I hope. And then Thursday, hope we can get that sea anchor in. If it ain't, if it's like this, I don't know how we get that sea anchor in, but we'll have to just wait for it to calm down. But whenever we can get that in, then we can get the hell out of here and get to Hawaii. Hopefully, we can cut out a lot of that southerly that we were going to have to do to go up to Hawaii, go down and up to. We can hopefully just go straight over from here, pretty much straight west. I hope that's what happens, but we'll have to see what the weather does. But anyway, that's all we got for tonight. We'll check you out later. Adios. Yeah. Pretty crazy down here. What do you think, Emily Ann? Nuts, huh? It is crazy. Rather... You what? Rather uncomfortable, but it's okay. We have another day of this. Um, today and tomorrow are the worst of the gale. Some of these waves crashing over are pretty big. I've tried to catch it on the GoPro and I'm not even gonna post them because it, they, it just looks flat. And they're my, they're giant. They're, they're really big waves. So I'm gonna try it with this good vlogging camera. I'm gonna go out there right now and see if, see if you can get an idea of what it's like. I think I'll have you put this on your head. Okay. All right, so we are raising the sea anchor, and I want to let you know that the voiceover here may have some noise in the background. And that's because I am uh, underway right now towards Hawaii. We've only got a little ways left while I'm making this video, and we are close hauled, and so you're hearing the water crashing against the hull while I make this voiceover. So. It's still sailing related. So what we're doing here when we pulled up this sea anchor is I had to go forward and we had to wait until the 
each time until the bow was into the waves in order to pull up that sea anchor. And then you'd have to just give a little bit. And we were bringing in it maybe an inch or two at a time at the initial start of this process. Eventually, toward the end, as we got closer to the actual sea anchor, we were able to bring it up by the foot. But it was difficult. So I'm pulling up on the uh, road, and then Norman takes up the slack on the gypsy. And it, it was quite a long process. Next time, we're going to set it up so that we can use the actual windless gypsy uh, rope side to pull this up, but we couldn't do it this time because of the anchor being on there and whatnot. We just weren't set up to do it. And when it's under this kind of stress, there's absolutely no way you could wrap that thing around that gypsy drum anyway. So yeah, it was a, this was a big process. It took us four hours to pull this up, four hours and four hours of strain. I had blisters on my hands. Norman and I, both of our upper shoulders and our arms were shot after this. So you're not going to want to throw out a sea anchor for anything less than a real storm situation, in my opinion. I would much rather turn and run in a gale than deal with this stuff. And it really was not very comfortable overall as far as the ride went. So... Well, here, if you'd like to watch the rest of it, towards the end, you can even skip ahead to the end if you want, just to see the sea anchor itself pull in. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching this one, and I'll catch you next time. Next week, on the next video of our way, on our way to Hawaii, we'll be underway sailing. sunlit face Feels like a handful of silk now I'm in your warm embrace Closer